Hey everyone, today we have the Seagate SSD. It's in here for data recovery. Let's see what's going on with it. It actually connects via a USB, so there's a USB connection here. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Um, we have the USB connected to our extender. And let's see what comes up over here. Okay, and we got an error, USB device not recognized. The drive itself isn't recognized. Um, let's remove uh, this USB connection from here. And let's also open up to take a look further to see what's going on. What's up? And yes, yeah, definitely been open before. And we saw one screw left in there. Okay, there we go. Got the last screw out. And so the reason why um, somebody might remove something like this is because when you get that error, when you see USB not recognized, usually you have a problem with the USB not being recognized. Some drives will actually have this, depending on the type of drive manufacturer. They'll have a USB connection, and we can slightly move it there. There we go, so it's removed. This is your uh, USB to SATA connection. Um, other typical USB style drives, this be all one board. So you have a USB board instead of this. But what we have here is something that's called a SATA connection. And the SATA is here. And that connected that for just ease of use. So let's go ahead and try now. If they're still here after they open it, most likely there's still another problem. So I'm gonna plug this in and let's go ahead and see. So we have the light here and we have blinking. So blinking means I should check my computer real quick and let's see what we're getting. So we checked the, the PC and something did pop up. If I look here, uh, we do have a drive. It's, uh, these are our other drives. These are just local drives and we have network drives too. Um, but we do see there is something that is here and we can't open it because it's asking the format. So format isn't, uh, isn't a very good thing, right? Because that means there's a problem. And now it says it's not accessible. Uh, so this is most likely why the customer is here. So let's go ahead and check here. We can check our disk management. And disk management is just a way of managing disks through uh, Windows. This is a one terabyte drive, which that is correct. This is a one terabyte SSD drive. And we see it's in a raw format. A raw format is a corrupted partition. It does recognize that there is something there. You can see size, but you can't see any information on the drive or access the drive more than that, at least through Windows. It could be a format issue, issue with the controller, lots of different things. So it's usually hard to determine exactly what that is without removing it. So let's go ahead and remove this casing. And we have um, some thermal pads, which is good. It looks pretty normal. So since we have the drive out, let's just quickly look under the microscope, um, just see if there's anything obvious that might be causing that problem, any type of physical damage, any knock components, especially if it has been previously opened before, or anything maybe burnt. We're just looking for something um, anything at all. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's visually inspect it. It's a very small PCB. So there's not a whole lot going on. But you can see it's a one terabyte drive. All right, that's there, it's clear. Um, and we have some NAND on the back. All right, and nothing looks out of place. Nothing looks out of ordinary. Everything looks fine. The thing we would look at would be the, the controller here and see if there was anything wrong with it potentially if we were still in getting like a usb not recognized that would be a little bit different this is most likely a bga which is uh, the connections underneath the chip which makes it a little bit more difficult but we're not going to be too worried about that right now but this board looks very clean with our visual inspection we didn't notice anything that could be causing the problem when you have any type of like power surge or you have something um, that can cause an issue, especially through the USB port. It can impact the partition of the data, especially if it's been disconnected really quickly as it is writing, or um, it can get corrupted while you're reading, writing, copying things, and then maybe you get a power shut off. That's possibly it. So now we're gonna use our advanced data recovery tools to see if we can read that corrupted partition in a different way and see if we can work with the drive and then extract the data. So let's go back to our data recovery room. So we're in our data recovery room and we can plug in the drive, just a regular side connection. No problem. So we can see with our utility, we can see the model, the serial firmware capacity, a lot of good things. After a bit of work, we're able to get to our extractor here and we can look at our file explorer and we, can, we do see a normal partition, which is an XFAT, which is good. Then we can see a lot of folders and a lot of data and green means good. So we are able to use our data recovery tools to work with a drive and to extract the data and recover it for the customer. If you guys are interested in doing a data recovery with us, we have all the data recovery tools here. We work on hard drives, SSDs, USBs, and lots of other things. If you guys are interested, check out the links in the description down below for how you can start your recovery with us. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and see you guys next video. Thanks a lot guys, take care, bye.